Next, we're gonna do the palm mute. It's a really cool effect. It kind of gives a muted, literally, ring to chords or notes. Mute the strings with your palm, literally. That's palm mute, mute the strings with your palm. So, as you can see, my palm right here, I'm slightly touching. I'm not using my left hand at all. See, my left hand's not doing anything. We're just gonna practice getting this sound out. You wanna be farther, closer to the bridge to get this sound out really well, um, to make it ring in a cool way. If you're if you're over here, you're gonna it's gonna be very muted, which is fine. If you want a very muted sound, sometimes that's exactly what we need. I'm not using my left hand. I'm just using this as an example. But it, the farther we get to the bridge, when we get into a right sweet spot at the bridge, we get more of a ringing muted sound as opposed to the completely muted sound. So play around with that without your left hand and see what what you can get out of that. You can even go down all your strings, make sure you're getting it. Boom, boom, boom. Getting a sort of ring to it. I'll play a chord so you can hear. I'll play the A minor chord because we're talking about the A minor pentatonic scale lately. We'll just do an A minor chord. So my left hand is now in the A minor. So A minor without being muted. A minor up here being completely muted. Well, it doesn't even sound like A minor. It just sounds like muted strings. But if you come down here and do a le very light, very light on the strings, palm mute. And as you change chords, it sounds really cool. As long as your hand is in the right position, you're gonna get that slight ring, that slight muted ring that is gonna sound really cool. Um, you can do it with chords, or you can do it with notes. You can literally, I'm gonna do the A minor pentatonic scale right now. It, if I was here too far and trying to mute, it wouldn't really sound like anything. So you wanna make sure you're far enough back, hanging right over here to get that ring. You just play around with it. Where am I getting your ring? Don't even put your left hand on. Over here, it's too muted. And you, like, you know, hold it really lightly. Over here, it's too muted. Get farther back. Oh, sweet spot. So you can play around with that with chords or notes, just like I did and see how it goes and the sounds that come out. It's, I love palm muting, I use it a lot. It's a great way to differentiate uh, between a verse and a chorus. You can start a verse with some muted strumming and then go into the chorus with some big strums that aren't muted to kind of give the dynamics the song needs. So it's really cool to play around with those and it's a nice effect to practice with both single notes and chords.